An arson investigation is developing in Chesapeake. Someone is setting fire to trees at the Chesapeake Arboretum. It's a popular destination for nature walks and borders houses. Then your side's Amy Avery spoke with a homeowner who saw the flames and called 911. Lush greenery used to line this entire pathway at the Chesapeake Arboretum, but now this is what remains following a devastating fire that is believed to be intentionally set. Flames were all the way, you know, climbing towards the top. Chelsea Kennedy lives nearby and says about two weeks ago on April 15th, she was sitting inside with her kids and saw her neighbors start running toward the tree line behind her house. I thought maybe one of his dogs had run away. So um, then I saw my neighbor Vicky run after him and I was like, oh, that's strange. And then my husband was out back grilling and he ran with them. And I looked back here and the woods were just filled with white smoke. Kennedy called 911 and says her husband and several neighbors started using buckets of water from the pond to help douse the flames until the fire department got there. And there were five or six people back here with buckets and they had it out before the fire department even got here, um, which was pretty impressive when you see the scope of it. About two weeks later on April 26th, firefighters say a second fire was started near where the first one took place. They put up these signs this week seeking information about both fires. Devastating that someone's trying to harm such a beautiful peaceful place in our community. The Chesapeake Arboretum sits on 43 acres filled with about three and a half miles of trails that guide you through a number of native trees. Chesapeake Park's landscape designer Lauren Ragsack says some pawpaw trees were damaged in the first larger fire. They're actually the largest fruit producing native tree that we have on the eastern seaboard. Ragsack says they plan to replant the area with native species, but it will take time to grow back to look like it did before. It's very disconcerting to park staff and I think to definitely to uh, some of the residents here who use those trails every day. And coming up later tonight, how park officials say you can help to preserve this area for years to come. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.